Well, good afternoon. Here is the Galaxy DX86V. This is going to be a short one here, just kind of showing it. Lower sideband, channel 20. We got our course clarifiers at 12 o'clock. That is adjustable for transmit and receive on this radio. So, uh, aftermarket microphone. And this is our receiving radio. Hello, radio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Check, check, check. One, two, three, four. Here's the output. We got a, we got a 50 watt slug in there. We got peak is on. Hello, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Check, 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 check. Now, trust me, guys. The radio will do more, but I run it clean. And if I crank that sideband up, the waveform looks terrible with a dual tone. So. I try to keep it the waveform looking linear because to me that's just how it's supposed to be. Out of the box it was pretty nasty, but um, all in all I really like the little radio. I like that it uh, allows you to slide. You can go to the zero channels simply like that. So if you're up here on this frequency you can get that. And there's big group of guys, the worldwide sidebanders that run there. I happen to be a member myself. I haven't been on in quite a while, but I am uh, WWS2690 is who I am, so I haven't been on in a while though. I go by 269 normally, but someone on the WWS already had that, so I had to add the, the zero on the end. But So that is uh, a nice feature of the radio. It's pretty basic other than that. You don't have a PA. You don't have a modulation scale on the meter. You don't have talk back. You don't have Roger beep. Any of that stuff. You have bare necessities. RF power, noise blanker, SWR reading, uh, mic gain, RF gain, volume squelch, and RX only clarifier. And the course does change TX and RX. And it does it on all modes whether you're on AM or sideband. And you do not get a full channel either direction either, so. No 10 KC jump, any of that stuff. I'll show you guys really quick on the back. I thought it was kind of uh, odd, but it doesn't have a PA speaker. They just put like a piece of uh, sticker over it. So I guess if you wanted to, uh, you guys can see it's got a little heat sink on the back. If you wanted to add some kind of toggle switch in the back, I would use that spot right there. So, it's right there for you. I don't know too many guys that really use PAs anyway, so I, any radio I've ever had, except back when I first got into CB, and I did have a PA horn in my car, um, I don't use it, so... But yeah, it's, it's real basic. The one good feature of the radio is you get this. So you can go to your skip frequency. I like this frequency. There's a lot of Jamaicans that run that. Dominican Republic, Caribbean. So you basically go up to 855 and then down to 515. So it gives you pretty much everything you could want. It does skip. You don't get everything because you don't get you don't get four four five. So like I say, I guess if you wanted that, you'd have to modify the radio, and you could put that 10kc switch in there and put that on the back. You could simply reach back and flick it up, and you probably get four four five. But I'm not interested in doing mods like that to it, so. So yeah. Um, other than that, it's a neat little radio. It's the same size as the DX979F. The, I think it's the same size as the 929, the AM version. So, I think it's around the same size as the Cobra 29. So, it's not a real big radio by any means. Let's look at AM really quick and then I'm going to get out of here. Try to make this as short as I can today. Go to channel 20 again. 
Um, it came out of the box with the RF power all the way down at like a half watt. So and with it all the way up, I adjusted it to eight watts. This is an AM. Oh, let me turn that down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Check, check, check. One, two, three, four. Hello, radio. One, two, three, four, five. Check, check, check. So again, it's doing a little more on AM, and it uh, allowed that still being clean. Let's turn it all the way down. I'll show you guys what it's doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Check, 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 check. One, two, three, four. Hello, radio. So it's kind of all over the place. It's not really the carrier so low. It's just kind of swinging all over the place. So I would just run it uh, barefooted. I just run it all the way up. Let's listen to it. It's got really clear, crisp modulation to it. And that's just with this uh, Superstar mic. One, two, one, two. Turn it up a little more. Oh, too much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Check, check. Here is the. So we're on uh, 60 megahertz all the way to the right. What is this thing doing? Sorry about this, guys. There we go. Jeez, oh, Pete. 60 megahertz on the right and nothing on the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hello, radio. Check, 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 check. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's nice and clean. And, uh, you know, you don't get a mod meter, but the power thing works a little bit. You know, it's not meant to be really accurate or anything, so... I'll show the waveform on EM really quick, and then I'm going to get out of here. Okay, I got it keyed up. Got my audio generators going in. Right here. I'm going to turn it on. Hit my finger. There's the carrier. And there's the waveform. Right at a hundred, maybe just a touch over. But it's working good. Like 31, somewhat somewhere in there. So I'm happy with it. I think it's a good working little radio for sure. I'm gonna use it a little bit when I get time on my radio desk right next to me over here, so we'll see how it works for me hopefully we'll get some skip on sideband see how it works there because normally there's not much going on where I live on sideband there's no locals or anything so kind of have to depend on the skip thing to talk sideband around here everybody's on AM so but I like it I like the the bare necessity of it it's not a real complicated radio I think anybody can run it and uh, it gives you uh, some extra frequencies, gives you ability to slide to the zeros on sideband, or I guess on AM, I don't know too many guys that do that, but you can. And uh, that's really about it. So I'm not sure if it uh, you know, would attract too many guys that like just a normal 40 channel CB, they probably wouldn't really want to step up to something like this, but you know, someone that kind of likes to free band a little bit, go up into the uppers and stuff. I think this is a good radio for them. And uh, the conversion is pretty simple. Uh, out of the box, it's on like 28 megahertz. It's up above the foam portion, so it's relatively useless. And uh, the band switch doesn't work out of the box. When you take the radio covers off, there's a little board. Um, take it off, it's on the bottom. Well, if I have it flipped over, it's on the bottom left. If you flip the radio over on the top, set it on its top, flip it over, it's on the bottom left. You unscrew it. There's a wire harness that you need to plug into it. It really sticks right out in front of you. You see it. And then you need to 
remove a solder bridge on the other side of it and that's basically it it's not too difficult but you lose the uh, 10 meter which I don't think anybody buying this radio would want that anyways it's not really why they're buying it and you guys can see you look at this radio you already know what it was designed for and you know the the power this is what it comes without you know the manual The powers to be that allow these to be sold in the U.S. I mean, if if they don't know what what they're going for when they design this thing, I think someone just turns a blind eye to things. Because honestly, guys, when you look at this, I mean, there's no FM and there's no CW, and I think they know they have to know why this radio was built the way it is. So. But that's just my opinion again on things. And, uh, well, hopefully you get something out of this. If you haven't seen one of these before, uh, you guys can make your own uh, assumptions at whether you like it, you hate it. Leave, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about it. I like it. I mean, it really isn't too many radios I don't like. So, But I do like this radio. I, I like that it gives you basically what you need. Frequencies, the clarifier slides a little bit, and that's really about it. Mic gain, RF power, that's really all I need in a radio. I don't need all that other fancy stuff, really. I like it's got an analog meter. The one thing I wish it had was a white LED, but I guess blue is what everybody's into now. I think it's because of the striker. The striker got very popular and I think a lot of these manufacturers jumped on board and started changing their uh, displays to blue and everything else. The blue kind of took over so hopefully we'll move past the blue because I'm not really a big fan of it. I don't really dislike it but I feel like the older radios with the green or the yellow and the white incandescent bulb were even better than this but I know they make some nice white LEDs now that are wide angled that would totally fill this whole meter up and make it nice and white and lit up. Very, very nice. So, who knows? Maybe they'll uh, change things in the future. But for now, this is the, the Galaxy DX86V. This is what it does. These are the features of it. And uh, that's, these are my two cents on it. I like it. Let me know what you guys think. If you hate it, if you like it. And, uh, I'll reply to the comments if you ask questions. I try to reply to them when, when I can. And uh, we'll go from there. I think I'm going to hold on to this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it as part of the business or not. As far as uh, add it to the radios that I offer for sale. I'm not really sure yet. Let, me, let You guys can let me know what you think about that as well. If you think I should sell this one or... Or hold off on it. I try to buy a case of radials at a time. That way I save on shipping for my supplier. So I'd have to buy six of these. And I really don't know if there's going to be a demand for six of them or not. So I bought a single one because I just wanted to try it out. So if there's a demand, possibly I'll buy a case. And if I can sell them all, that would be great. If there's not a demand, then save myself some money. And look for something else to uh, possibly invest in. So... Have a good one, 7-3. Everybody have a good weekend. Thanks for watching.